riders, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking out the 38 air spring. This is simply to either service it, like my last video, or it's to change the travel. I uh, highly recommended you do a lower leg service while doing this because you're basically doing it anyway. You just got to clean the foam rings and maybe hit some new seals in. I won't be doing that in this video. This is purely just how to take out and reinstall a Fox 38 air spring. So the tools you'll need, I'll link below. This is uh, everything you'll need. You will need some Fox Gold and PTFE oil. Okay, let's get started. So first thing is to let out all the air. So you got a two mil Allen or two and a half, something to just depress the valve. So guaranteed all the air's let out of there now. Now we're just going to rotate this up. There's a little dust cap over the high and low speed. So this is when you're gonna grab your two mil. Essentially, it's really easy. You just obviously rotate it left, lefty loosey, and the high speed and low speed rebound will pop off. So to give everything a little bit of a clean. Okay, so we got a 10 mil. For the air side, very gently loosen that off, then that's going to be taken off by hand. Now you can see the crush washer is still on the air shaft, so I'll have to get that off later. And then we get a 15mm. Just put that on the end, be very gentle with it. Should just be able to loosen exactly the same. So you can see in the base of there, there is a crush washer. So now we have to roll on our knockers. You can put a socket over those nuts and uh, just hit them with a hammer. You want below this a bucket so that no PTFE oil goes everywhere. You simply give the shafts a good gentle smack. There we go. Same for the air side, give it a nice little tap. Just want to get that crush washer off too. Okay, so now we've got a uh, flathead. You can see the crush washer on here. Bucket over the end of the forks. Put them down and just pull the lowers down to disengage it. Okay, so now I'm just going to drop this. Put the bucket on the ground. Okay, so we've broken the seal on the bottom. Both the lower legs are out. Throw a bit of towel in the bucket, but essentially it's very, very simple. You just pull the lowers down. That'll just come off nice and easily. Very gently. Just sit them down in there. Give those legs a bit of a clean up. Okay, we are now going to get a flat-faced 32mm socket. You have to get a flat-faced socket because there is not a lot of edge on here. Put your hand over the top, undo that, take that off, and now essentially do it by hand. Okay, so now that's done, that'll be how many tokens are in your air shaft. We'll put that over here. Okay, so now we have one of these. I'm not 100% sure what this is called, but as you can see here, it's, a, it's like a rounded spring. So you gotta get your screwdriver underneath there and then roll it around 360 degrees to loosen that spring. This can be a little bit tricky. Pay attention when you get it out because you gotta put it back in the same way. Get your nail underneath it and then oops. Just roll it around. There you are. Okay, we're going to be removing the air spring now. So obviously you have to have this top cap removed because the air spring comes through from there and out to the bottom. So you should be able to cycle the air spring quite smoothly at the moment. Uh, you can just pull some paper towel on the end of there to rip it out. But uh, what I'll be doing is putting on my air side bopper tool. Okay, so we got our bopper on the end. Got the shop towel there. I usually just cycle it right up and give it a nice pull. Funny about that. Should come out quite easily. 
So now we have the 38 air spring. Push up to top, nice and greased. So this is a 180 mil one, so. Oops. So I'm gonna rebuild this one and put another one in. Okay, so now we gotta clean out where the air spring was in the bottom of here. So you gotta get your isopropyl alcohol again. Give it a good squirt in there. And get your shop towel. Poke it in. And just get a poking rod. So you can see, that's just what you clean out. With the air spring now removed, give it a really good clean with isopropyl alcohol. We've got to regrease it and install it back into the Fox 38s. This is the time, obviously, if you've got a different air spring, different travel, change, whatever you need, this is when you uh, put it back in. So I'm using slick oleum, slick honey, or whatever you want to call this stuff. It says apply a reasonable amount to these two top seals here. These aren't moving seals, this is purely just for air. And then a reasonable amount of grease, not too much, just to this bottom seal. You don't want it around the bottom, but you just want it around the seal itself. Cool. So that's good. The other thing you want to check, cycle your air spring through to the top. And you want to put a little bit more on the top of there for me. So we cycle the air spring through to the top after I did that the other day. Put a little bit on the top of the piston. Cool, so I'm really happy with that. So now we're up to installing the new air spring into the stanchion. You essentially want to put a little bit of grease around the internal of the stanchion. I've already done that. Um, and now you just slide it back up into the stanchion, trying not to touch it too much. Hold the top until it goes in. So now we're back into the reinstallation of that. should click in. Now you're gonna get your flathead screwdriver and just give it a little bit of pressure in different areas to make sure it is seated properly. Okay, so now we will have to put a little bit of slick oleum on the inside of the seals. So just on the inside of the seal in here, not on the O-ring below it. Putting the lowers back onto the stanchions. This can be a little bit tricky. You've got to use just a little bit of a process so you get one side in, and then you get the other side in. It's like a rounding motion, you sort of just slides up. So one's on, pops out as it usually does. Yeah, that's on. Cool, we got those on. Another little tip that I've found out make sure you, your stanchions are vertical otherwise the foam rings in here can catch when you're installing them you should just slide that up gently okay so the fox oil chart will be up on the screen at the moment i know we got fox 28 gold we got 20 cc in the air side and the ptfe oil for the damper side we got 40 cc you also have to put 3 cc in the top of the air side chamber 20 cc's of the oil, so you just pull the air shaft back a bit so you can install the oil straight in. So damp side, we've got PTFE oil, so that's 20. Right in there. Beautiful. So now we got the lowers fully oiled up, everything's ready. You slightly, gently pull the lowers forward to expose the damper shaft and the air shaft. You get your new crush washer. You put that on. To make sure you've got a crush washer on your damper side. Just quickly talk the left side up. That's ready. Okay, so what we're looking for on the high speed and low speed, 
So right there, there's a flat bit on the shaft. So you can install the first one. That one doesn't really matter as much where it goes. Then you have a wave washer on the bottom and you have a little lock nut. So the lock nut has to go on the flat side of the damper. You can feel it if you move it up and down. You just give it a small tweak. You're done. Reinstall your bottom cap. Okay, so we haven't put on the top cap yet. It actually says in the air chamber, you're supposed to put three cc's of Fox Gold Oil. Really handy suggestion, this little o-ring here, just put a little bit of slick oleum on and then you can reinstall it. That's all done. Thanks for watching guys, that's essentially how to drop your lowers and change the air spring in your 38 fork. Uh, check out the link if you want to work out how to rebuild one of these 38s. Uh, very or highly recommended that you do that because my three air springs that I've done have been either blocked up with grease in the negative air chamber or just horrible. Air this shock back up, put it back in, ready to go.